example, 45 by 25, 45 foot long by 25 foot wide. <coughs> and uh, <laughs> you can see virgin soil. I've been trying to compost a little bit right here, but I'm gonna have to move that somewhere. That's just what I started one day. But I'm gonna put, I'm gonna be able to drive through this bay and this bay with the tractor probably could make four passes with the tractor I have <clears throat> be able to disc it up and deal with the soil so right now what I'm doing is I'm putting I'm digging the holes to put the post up some of these ain't in yet some of them in but uh I'm not really too worried about the cement on the end on the metal but on the ends I gotta I want cement on these posts That's about what I've been measuring them at, huh? I don't really care about the height or nothing, just as long as it's in the ground enough. So, two more holes to, to dig. Then I can make some cement, fix these posts in the ground. And then I can go to putting the boards up and the chicken wire. Whew. Yep. All right. The layout of it. That's gonna be the garden. Oh, and people might be wondering. Uh, you're planting too close to trees. Uh, I'm in the soil, but out here we need shade when the summer gets really hot. You need shade, and I have it in the form of trees and leaves. So it'll be fine. I hope. Anyway. That's it for now. I'm done. Okay. This is how the fence is looking so far. Kind of see how I overlap the boards. <laughs> this is doing it on the cheapest I can do it because I didn't I just I'm doing it on cheap I'm using pallet board to make a three board fence so that's a guide board right there I just happen to have a 16 foot 1 by 4 I'm using for a guide board to put these up so I just need something to tack the chicken wire up to to keep the deer out. And it'll last for a little while. It won't last forever, but you know what? It'll serve the purpose for right now. It ain't too bad looking, though. And then I'm going to put up two gates on that end and two gates on this end. And then it'll be done. Then, well, then it'll be done. Then I gotta get the track in here and disc all of this and get it planted. Going on there.
I'll get that stretched out and put on there. I think the easiest thing in the world will handle a chicken fence. But I'm going to get it tight. I just disked it up. The first disking. I'll do another disking maybe tomorrow and Sunday if it don't rain. Hopefully be planting not too distant future. It's getting close to being able to plant. Since uh I think winter's over. We got it's supposed to be a little coolish. Sunday? Today's Friday. It's supposed to get a little coolish. But not cold cold. But that hopefully that's the definite end of winter. And uh that'll be it. Okay, uh this is gonna be the start of the gate for that far off garden over there. Alright, I'm on the last gate, and what I did, I'm going to show y'all how I did it, you know, I measured, this is a 2x4, 8 foot 2x4, cut in half, and then toe screwed, toe nailed, into a 12 foot 2x4, what I do is I measure, after I cut this 2 by 4 in half, I measure again, and it's 4 foot 4 and an eighth. So that's 24 inches, 24 and a sixteenth, so I just get close enough and mark the center. And then I come up this side the same length, 24 and a sixteenth from there. So that's 24 and a sixteenth. 
marked at, which I've already done. And instead of figuring out all the geometry on this, because that's going to be a 45 degree angle basically, my geometry is all right. I'm pretty good in it. But I know that boy needs to fall out right now. And it needs to fall out right now. So I'm going to get it close to that corner. I don't want to waste too much. But that's pretty good. So I'm just going to come under here and scribe like that. Come under here. And scribe it like that. Grab this one. Grab that one. So I end up with the board that needs to go in between there. That'll be off ball, and that'll be the rest. That's a terrible cut. Dang red beef. Red wash. Get out of here. I'll cut you. Well, I ain't a left hand cutter. So this should fall out mostly right. That cut was terrible because of what happened with it. But not too bad really. This cut's fine. So let's see. Let's see if it Oh that's terrible. Yeah. Not too bad. I mean, I had a mistake with that with that blade. So what I'm gonna do? I'm almost out of screws here. I'm gonna go ahead and start these. Get that on there about as right as I can get it. it looks like about right as rain. Good enough. So a little overlap right there, but I ain't worried about that. I already have an angle cut on here, and that was a pretty decent cut. So I'm going to see. I'm going to put that cut, since I know it's pretty good, right up even with that. To where it's nice and flush. Don't have to worry about that angle so much. See, it doesn't fall out exactly, but it's close enough. Right 
so this one should fit pretty well and it's a signed area which it does pretty 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 snugly uh, I always check it the other way just to see if it's good enough but see how it comes yeah, wouldn't be too bad like that either like that like that it just fits better yep So, I'll get it to where it looks nice and pretty. And and we'll come back and touch that up with some toenail. Take this board to this end. up with that it's not bad And that knot. I'm gonna go ahead and two screw these in a little bit better with these little galvanized screws I just happen to have a whole bunch of these out. One more gate <sighs> finished enough. 
by this point. All right, that's two more of them. I got two of them over there. Whew, I'm tired. But I gotta go put them hinges on. See if I can get these on the post and how they handle it. Then I might have to do something with the posts. I don't know, they're pretty heavy. Till then. I didn't expect the rain to come this early, but it's starting to drizzle. I'm going to have to see if I can get these things got oh, down. The wind's been so strong it blew them down. Anyway. Alright, I just drilled a pilot hole with that 3 bit. And this is all I'm doing is putting this in right now. about that much clearance
okay this is Sunday April 14th I believe uh, anyway we had a terrible storm that came through last night knocked out all the litter throughout the yard over there uh, branches all over the place a lot of stuff fell down a lot of water <clears throat> but all in all everybody's all right so i got cut short on putting my gates up so that's just what i'm gonna be doing today finishing that so simple no what we'll come roughly about seven inches from the bottom of this gate what I'm gonna wanna do Alright So I'm gonna get a rough estimate of that Actually I'm gonna come up 10 inches I want it right there So if I get somewhere close to that, that'll be fine. So the way I'm gonna do this is we'll go ahead and unhook this. It's gonna be kind of hard because I can't kneel down on the ground because I don't want to get all wet. So what I'm gonna do. Three foot almost exactly. Mm. Exactly, actually. So. There we go. Xbox the spot. So I'll just come down three foot off of that one and it should be right. a little bit so I came down three foot directly from this one so if I put this one three foot directly down they must be leaving Put my hand on that and poked it on that wire. <laughs> Not too bad. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Let's see how to hang. Oh. 
Bora. Not gonna be like oh, there ain't no way I'm gonna pick that up like that. be it. Exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Freaking ants everywhere on here. I dog it. I put ant person down the other day. Hey, hey, you little suckers. I'm just gonna. people here it'd be a lot easier. Something slid off. Alright. It's on, but it ain't on right. <clears throat> Alright, what I'm just doing is just giving it a little encouragement here. Got a piece of rebar. I didn't really have anything else to use as a punch. Kind of hard to do the top one. But, at least. Just about right there. It does work for what I for the purposes I need it for. For right now, it works because I ain't gonna really be opening it. I had originally thought I was gonna hinge off of this one, so I did. I really concrete around this one, and I somewhat concreted on the corners. 
but <sighs> just like a lot of farm gates I mean it's clearing right here it's but it's also leaning down so when I need to bring the tractor I'll be able to open it up to about that point and just drive on through like I was it'll be fine I really don't have to open them all the way wide all the time and I'm gonna put a cleat on the bottom to hold it it probably work fine enough the way it is just put a good holding handle on it somewhere in the front I mean all right I only got three more left to go I thought these hinges were gonna go a little bit faster but mm, I again was wrong on something with time anyway I ought to be able to finish this up today after that <coughs> I'll tack up some of the uh, chicken screen on here that I have left I got a bunch of other stuff to do I'd like to get those chickens slaughtered today so how did tomatoes make out last night those did fun these little bitty ones I put in the ground like that that's uh, some special variety called super sauce I was hoping because I wanted to sauce some tomatoes they were they in the in the uh, little cups I seed everything in I got great germination but they just died I don't know why so I heard them put them in the ground before they had a chance to stay in those cups too long and die hopefully putting them in the ground even that early if I have a few take I got one in the hydroponics I'm hoping it takes and I got a couple more still in the cedar cups but uh, I, they only send you 25 seeds in a pack for like a four, like five something I don't know it was expensive and I, I just wanted to see if I could grow this and then maybe uh, cut some cut some cuttings off of them some suckers and propagate them that way I won't have to do these seeds again so I'm hoping they go this right here see these did fine these are beautiful little seedlings I grew that's a, I think steak house and these are some cherries I really didn't want to grow cherries but my partner at work gave me some cherries they were real pretty and uh, I put those in and then here's a lone steak sandwich I put in right here the leaves kind of blew on it but it's, again you can see a pretty seedling and then here's some jalapenos one two three I separated those two they were kind of stuck together and this one was suspect but it's put out some new leaves already and uh <laughs> this row this is some kind of melon I got when I bought the seeds that it looked interesting it was called a mango melon it it grows real slow here's another one oh, this leaf got stuck in the ground in the rainstorm so I mean it kind of put on a little bit more since I put them in the ground but they, again they were going slow 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 oh, that's just trash that ain't nothing I'm growing oh I had something right here and it died that's a squash and that's another no that's a squash I had a squash in the ground over there and it didn't make it so that's a squash I, I, I really wasn't thinking about how I was doing this when I did it so I just let that go this is cucumber that's a cucumber I seeded in pots but but uh that one's doing fine this one's struggling a bit but it's okay because you know it's struggling in that little pot a little bit cucumbers you know direct seed seems to work best this right here where that furrow is that's all cucumbers up to about I don't know somewhere up in here and then after that there's nothing but squash all the way down to here and then I think I'm gonna clear up around the fence once I get a little bit more further with these gates and 
plant some beans on there. I did put some beans right here. The oh, they uncovered. <laughs> yeah, look, they 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 kind of germinating. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some more topsoil on top of them. Get them a little bit. That rain washed all that off. Give them a little ground to hold on to, but I just put them there. So what the heck? Let them. That did that over here too. <clears throat> yeah, that one's coming out of its day. I didn't think those seeds were gonna be any good. And they thought I had more than that right now. I put some more. Okay, on the property. I dug that up when I was tilling disking. This root's got to be cut from the other side. I had some more. Yeah, I can see it right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right. I'm glad that bean variety is going to grow. Because I didn't have many seeds left. I got some more right here. I got some more right here. Maybe right there. I don't know. But on the other side, I planted. I think it's called Kentucky Wonder. Uh, Kentucky Super, I don't know. Something. They came up. That's one. That's one. That's one. That's one. I had planted some seeds that mixed up. They should have been more come up right here. But they ain't. There's one. There's one. I don't know. There's another one. Here's another one. It's already starting to kind of lean though. There's another one, another, another. This little gap right here, might have to get some more seeds, but it looks like that one just came up right now. So, I just didn't really care about this grass so much because I ain't got but just so much time. So, this year, I figured whatever I got was just gonna be good luck fortune because uh i really i was disking and we weren't getting any dry weather you got to disc and let it dry out and disc again let it dry out disc again probably disc three or four times and i didn't get the tractor till late over here because my father had to use it up at his place he was having some dirt work done and that took precedence over this but uh I do have something done. I think if I mulch with that, I got tons of, I can get as unlimited leaves like this. And if I mulch heavy, I can keep that grass down a bit. That'll be easy enough. See how I got all them leaves on there? I got tons of that. I can just buckets and buckets and buckets on the, on the cart. All right, well that's enough. I'm gonna, I'm not going to record while I do the rest of these hinges. <coughs> I'm not going to record while I do the rest of these hinges because it's just a hindrance. But I, I pretty much showed what I was going to do right here. It gets a little bit easier every time you do it because now I kind of have an idea what I'm supposed to do. But famous last words, it gets easier. At least I know where I'm going with this. And uh... I should be able to get the rest of these hinges up on these gates and that way I can secure this garden from deer. And that's the main idea. Deer and rabbits, keep them out. I'll probably end up having to put a little line of chicken wire on the bottom that maybe flaps back and forth as it opens and closes just to just to kind of rake the ground a little bit. It'll probably this ground dives a little bit, of course the land grades this way toward the water where it's running right there. But up in the front I'm kind of, might have to pick those gates up as I open them because that goes up over there. So that's going to be challenging, to say the least. But I'll handle it. If I have to get the box on there and grade that land down a little bit, I will. It's going to be hard around that tree. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye. So, 
I have to hurry up and get some corn in the ground. I know it's got grass and stuff like that in there, but this is like virgin ground. I have to till the disc and it'll work. It'll take a few years before I get it all the way right. I just went by some corn from the local place because the corn I planted here, I planted some here and it didn't take, it was old seeds and they had gone bad evidently. Huh. Probably only needed to open up one of these, I don't know why I did that. Let's see. April 13th, getting the corn, the uh, second batch of corn in. Uh, I guess two packets worked out pretty good. There's a corn. One corn came up from that other one. So. That'll be it. All right, this is the day we finally got some sun. It's Mother's Day. I think it's May 12th, I don't know. I don't really keep up with some of the days sometimes. But uh, <coughs> I get a little opportunity here to do a little work outside. So I'm, uh, I want, I've been wanting to mulch more in my garden. I got just an endless supply of this oak leaves around here. I already hit this area pretty hard with raking them up. So I already put a few loads down. I have to use the wheelbarrow rather than my cart because I can't get the cart across the creek drainage. A creek, but more of a uh, overflow, natural runoff right there. It was some lots of rain, lots of rain over the weekend. Uh, I gotta go run to mom and dad's house today for Mother's Day. One day I can get to do something, I gotta go do something. So there ain't nothing wrong with that though. You can see this leaves are already mostly mulched right there. They've been down there mulching all winter. Uh composting I should say, not mulching, but my composting. Uh But when you're talking about gardening, there's a time frame 
but you gotta get certain stuff done or you're gonna just miss that window and this year I've been starting everything so it's even more time consuming and difficult once you have it established it's a lot easier at my old house I had a I had a fairly decent sized garden I had an established area and the ground was amended so perfectly over here I'm trying to establish that now the guy that had this place he had a place for a garden right over there by the chicken coop but I didn't like the fact that every year he killed off everything with Roundup and uh I'm not a big fan of that stuff I think in some areas you might be able to use that but for the most part it's a it's a bad product I try to avoid it at all costs I remember back in the day though when you used to just buy that stuff and spray it you didn't care about anything you just sprayed it and it didn't matter everybody and their mama was using that stuff yeah we had some terrible weather <laughs> flood and rain all of that look at all the figs got tons of figs this year the figs are just crazy these are my worst plants and they're loaded the big ones over there the real big ones holy cow I'll never be able to eat that many figs I can enjoy them but we shall see See, I done put down some mulch on here already. I'd have liked to got this whole thing done today. Because I got so many other things I got to do. tomatoes are so small I put a little fertilizer we'll see this is some cucumbers right here when I first started out I had those melons I had a couple more right there but only two of them made it then that's a squash and then cucumbers and then direct seeded these were transplant cucumbers these were direct seeded over here in this line and they're doing really well everything's doing all right right there cucumbers and squash if you look over there that squash is doing spectacular in that line It's been a year usually when I'm growing tomatoes usually everything by now is at least this big and these are great usually at least this big now there's another variety I've been growing I just bought some seeds because they look the description look right and these are called steak sandwiches and they 
way above and beyond everything else they are much more prolific they are much more prolific they they, they just grow i think these are some i started right after and it, it just based off everything else in the garden they grow really fast now the black crams and the mortgage lifters they seem to grow pretty fast too and then they had another batch of tomatoes i started a little later i just threw the i had some old seeds and i just threw them in a, a little seed starter and they they i didn't think they were gonna come up they were so old and i had to store them in bad conditions oh they came up so some of them are real small i'm hoping they do if they do I'm not too worried about the tomatoes this year. I'll just get suckers and then really propagate them right. And next year have a good start to the year. All right, we'll get another load and see what I can do. You can see that ant hill right there. I mean, just look at the slop here in the garden. Kind of terrible. They are growing so fast that I'm hoping that they ground cover and kind of shade out that grass. I'm going to take the little weed and hoe. I'm going to kind of come in there and Turn up some of that. Get that all. Kind of turn it up so I can. I might put some mulch in there. This is a good thing. It, it, the ground's turning, but it's so sloppy. I ain't never really planted squash on this scale before. Usually I only plant like maybe three or four plants of each variety. And uh, this is probably a little too crowded. But uh, I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if they, if they just happen to do. If they do, yeah, if not I'll learn a lesson. No way I've been able to post videos lately, hardly ever. Y'all probably won't see this till the experiment is basically over with. That's some okras growing down this line. I'm very in. I got a few peppers. All right, that's how that row looks after you come through with a little, little garden hoe, a little rake, garden rake. Gotta be careful doing this around these things. Okay.
Alright. That's all I'm gonna do for now on that. <laughs>